Good morning! It's Saturday, February 18th. I'm Rose. And I'm Rhoda. And this is a Something Good Morning Show. Top Hello. of the morning to you, world. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you know, it's National Heart Month. Yes. It's American Heart Month. It's just all the hearts like we talked about last week, Valentine's Day. And so today we want to focus more on our actual heart. Yes. Um, but before that, our physical something heart. that really got our heart going this week was our nieces. They had two major basketball games. Um, two of our nieces went head to head and a little bit of a rivalry. Mind you, they're only eight and nine years old. Yeah, I was waiting for you to chime in with that. And then our niece, who's 10 years old, she played an undefeated team and they were like the underdog. We kind of were like, eh, not sure. But they, they, they won. won and they won in pretty good fashion. Yeah. I mean, they even scored one for the other team. I was like, hey, you know, here you go. <laughs> and they still came out on top. And so this morning we have to rush over and go support her at nine o'clock. And it's just so much fun. I haven't yeah. been so excited about a basketball game. And since yeah, it's really so funny. Time. We're like, I can only imagine when they're older teenagers playing. Like right now, it's already like so exciting and fun. You're like, I'm so nervous for them. But it's, yeah, it was great. It's really fun. Yeah. And so for our fashion segment, um, I'm not sure you can really see this little guy. I'll get a close-up. Yeah, get a close-up there. You see that little guy? Mm-hmm. A little, a little treat from our dad. A little Gorjana. We're a little, some single, single girls over here for Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Usually gets us a little token. A little opal heart. It's so nice and understated and dainty and... I mean, sometimes Valentine's Day, I mean, you even point out like the Ivan Claw sweatshirts or there's a lot of fun heart stuff, but it's like, really, am I going to wear it past yeah, Valentine's Day? exactly. Although I say, well, why don't we celebrate heart things all year long? What, we can only celebrate love on one day? <laughs> so I think we need to talk about that in a future episode. But this is nice because it's understated yeah. and you can just wear it all year long and yeah. not think that was a Valentine's Day yeah. special. So. And it was great because he he had seen that we talked about them on a previous live and then went and got them for us i thought that was so sweet and like i said before georgiana does like not wear out i've had like some of their necklaces for like five years and they're still in great condition they don't rust or mm -hmm. um like start turning that brown color so definitely you know, a nice on your skin. a nicer yeah. piece without like you know going breaking the bank crazy so. mm -hmm. Um, and you got something else oh, for yes. the fashion segment. Yes, a little... We've talked about these before, but the Ultra Shoes. Love these. Mm -hmm. And since it, since it is Heart Month, Heart Health Month, a little running would be good for you, a little brisk walking, get that mm -hmm. heart rate up. And we love these because they're a wider toe, so your, your foot just sits flat like it naturally does. It doesn't scrunch up. And so these have been super comfortable. I actually got these on sale during Christmas. Good um, you. But, but yeah, check these out, Ultra Shoes. They have trail shoes, they have walking shoes, running. Love them. Mm -hmm. I've yet to get a pair, but I will in the near future. And also, we didn't try to be matchy-matchy today, although we did both wear our sweatshirts, but it is an elite fuel. We felt like it was appropriate because we're like, oh, red, I better keep this one on, it won't change out, so. Um, yes, supporting Elite Fuel. Mm -hmm. Check them out. And also, and, also great for your heart. Yes, Everything also great for your heart. heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, food, our favorite topic. <laughs> okay, so two liquids and one food. Just keeping it basic here. Okay. Okay, so talking about one that's not good, vegetable oils. Oh, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've probably seen it around now. It's slowly trickling out to the mainstream, but mm -hmm. vegetable oils are a no-no. Mm -hmm. So we're talking canola, soybean, um, sunflower, 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 safflower. Really check sunflower canola, because that's, that's a lot a of healthy one. products too. Oh. And it's actually not good for you. So yeah. thank you to our brother Dr. Matt for turning us on to all the vegetable oils. They're awful. But if you stick to just real food, you just eat real food that's not packaged, you'll be totally fine. You don't have to check. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all just normal food. But, but the vegetables sneaky. are sneaky. They're yeah. so sneaky. I mean, I honestly did not know about vegetables. I mean, it's been several years now, but I was like, oh my goodness, this is an epiphany. Like, I had no idea about the damage that vegetable oils can do and how they're really the root of all yeah. evil. Tons I of mean, causing inflammation, inflammation yep. and 
heart disease. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk about heart disease. Vegetable oils are do it for you. Stick to real butter. Yes. Stick to ghee. It ain't beef. It ain't eggs. It ain't. Yeah. yeah that's butter. not causing your heart disease. No. It's yeah. the vegetable oils and the processed foods. Yes. What's our other liquid? Other liquid. Well, coffee. Of course, it's positive. Uh, of life course, juice. It's life juice. It, it doesn't. Not only does it give you a boost of energy. But it's good for your heart. Now, the caveat mm -hmm. with that yes, is it us. does need to be mold, mycotoxin free, mm -hmm. pesticide free, organic. So, yeah, if you add all the other junk in it and it's not really a good coffee, then, you know, I mean, yeah, it's, you're doing more damage. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's like not to your heart, but other parts of your body mm -hmm. is getting drained of energy. So yes. make sure it hits all the marks. You can mm -hmm. check out um, Purity is our favorite. Purity, mm -hmm. Life Purity Force, Coffee. Mm -hmm. Keon Coffee. You just Keon K I O N. Deep dived on that. Yes, I did deep dive on that one. Uh, <laughs> on all the coffees it's that like, are good. Blah. But we it's do like, really love Purity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So check them out. You just yes, we will actually leave a link to a post. Um, our sister Girl Gone Green did one all about coffees like and family connections. Yeah, and so she kind of did a whole deep dive on all the different coffees and stuff. So um, it's super helpful. Yeah. So you can look at that and decide which one is right for you. But there are a lot of options now when it comes to clean so coffees many. that yes. are actually you know tested and mm -hmm. um they're already tested, tested. tested and metals yeah so but purity has really been our go-to it's just so, i used to be a drive through fanatic and like it really only tasted good coffee only tasted good if i like got it at a drive through or something and now it's like i love it at home it's so good mm -hmm. like once i discovered purity it was like game over so yeah, i'm just delicious. gonna say that that yeah that's like my little testimonial yes um okay so the food that is good for you an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Mm. It keeps your heart healthy. So that saying mm -hmm. is true. Yeah. That soluble fiber, mm -hmm. that pectin just keeps things um, running moving. smoothly, keeps things running. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keeps things moving, keeps that heart pumping. Mm -hmm. So um, what, yeah, what, apples are really good. And what is your favorite apple? Um, I kind of like Granny Smith or Pink Lady. Pink Lady. Yes. Pink Lady. Mm, the hard crisp. Pink Lady mm -hmm. Apple hits the mark. Yes. Um, I mean, Fuji, yeah. decent, but it all depends. Like, sometimes you, it looks so good, and then you bite mm -hmm. into it, it's like, mm -hmm. okay, smother in almond butter, <laughs> smother in almond butter. But yeah, it's great. I mean, apples are just great at, um, you know, make, getting rid of like the excess cholesterol, just like really pulling it out of your oh, body with all that, that soluble fiber. fiber. Just, just keep out. that word picture. I mean, yeah. cholesterol, generally your body needs cholesterol. Yes. It's just the bad, the bad. kind. Let's mm -hmm. get that out. So. Yes, exactly. What's so, up? Next? Okay, so then. A fitness finds? Yes, fitness finds. Mm hmm. So, one of the things just with, you may have heard of HRV, heart rate variability. And mm -hmm. so, that can really be if you monitor it. it okay, so if you like use your smartwatch or aura ring, they also have like a finger sensor and. So if you kind of get a baseline of what your HRV should be, then you'll know, like, if you start, you know, say testing it on the daily, you know, like when you're overtraining perhaps, or, um, you're stressed, you're not getting good sleep. So something Probably most people are emotions. under training is what I would think, but okay. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. So yeah, it's really great. It really, what it does is like measures the space between the beats of your heart. Mm. Um, I don't want to get all technical here, but basically, but there you go. <laughs> but basically, in general, you want a higher HRV. Usually, that's a sign of health and that you're, you can easily adapt to life and recover easily. Um, and usually, a lower one is like can be a sign of, um, you know, heart disease or just other conditions going. You know, other issues going on in the mm -hmm. body yeah so um or just not adapt just maybe super stressed so you want like actual you want there to be fluctuation between an hrv so okay <laughs> if you have like the same amount of intervals then it's see we're going down a rabbit trail and for, but that means you're stressed <laughs> so we will get off we will leave a couple links maybe for hrv <laughs> monitors 
so you can monitor and see where you're at. But I know like Dr. Matt, our brother has like talked about it and it's a way he can help, you know, patients monitor. And I think it kind of gives you when you see, okay, this is a benchmark. Okay. Can yeah. I beat that? And it helps you kind of take ownership of your health. And so that's one of the benefits of it. Yes. And then for everyone else who, maybe that was over your head, but you can just go for a brisk walk. You can get I some love just good, good cardio in to mm -hmm. strengthen your heart muscle, mm -hmm. like in that endurance. Yeah. So go on a walk, go on a jog, CrossFit, do any kind of like hit style movement, circuit training, whatever gets you breathing hard. Mm -hmm. That means that you're strengthening your heart and you're building endurance. So that's super important. Just like strength training is important to build muscle. You also need um, just the heart strengthening, the cardiovascular health as well. It all, it all goes together. So yeah, you can't get out of one. <laughs> so, okay. And did you know, I mean, I've heard this statistic repeated, you know, a number of times, but maybe it has changed, but I will just go ahead and repeat it again. Okay. That, most, <laughs> that most heart attacks happen on Mondays. Mm. And, you know, the thought behind that is that people are dreading going to work. They're not excited about life. Mm -hmm. It's like the stress and the pressure of the dread you know, going. The Monday dread. Mm -hmm, the Monday dread. So, and then the least amount of heart attacks happen on Saturday because it's like weekend. So, I think we need to change that. Yes. And, you know, if you're in a job that you don't like or life just seems like drudgery. I mean, I think a lot of times, you know, life is like... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and sometimes it doesn't feel like super exciting or mountaintop experiences all the time. But, you know, if you're working towards something or, you know, you're feeling a, a sense of fulfillment or you, being around people that make you smile, those all help mm -hmm. and just relieve stress. Yeah. And, you, and you want to enjoy everyday life. You mm -hmm. don't want, you, I mean, who wants to just like dread every exactly. day? So you want yeah. to en just be able to enjoy your life. Mm -hmm. And there's, of course, ups and downs, but in general, are you doing what you love? Are you doing what you like? Do you look forward to it? The, being around the people, same people every day or that you see at work or mm -hmm. um, is your environment good at work? Just those kind of things. Like if you're not, if it, it is feels like a drudgery on a Monday, then maybe it's time to look a little deeper, see what you can change, maybe do a job change, maybe just... Or just really make make a about plan it. of how yeah. you could change. Because a lot of times you can't just pivot like, oh, I'm going to change and I'm going to live my best life now. Yeah, but <laughs> it's know? thinking it about it. It sounds so easy to say, but it's hard to do. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's like you just have to make a plan like, okay, I'm shooting for this date. I'm shooting for, you know, by this time I'm going to be here or I'm mm -hmm. going to have made this change, this pivot. And so... But yeah, and sometimes just having having a good talk with a friend and yeah. like, okay, bounce some ideas see, off of them. Yeah, what I'm not seeing right now. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, our whole goal with this is just to find ways that you can de-stress, take pressure off, you know, alleviate stress. Um, you know, obviously emotionally, physically, we want to support good heart health, and mm -hmm. that is also emotional health, yeah. not just our physical heart. So. Absolutely. Um, what are some fun finds? Yeah, a few things this week that I want to put your attention on. Mm -hmm. So first, one little way you can get your heart rate up is jump roping. Mm -hmm. And that is obviously so easy. Just this is all you need. It's, it's basic, you know, but it's difficult. It's hard. Like try jump roping after, you know, the age of 25 and <laughs> yes. it's a whole other story. Like you do it all the time as a kid, but anyways, so yeah, you just get a jump rope, go outside. I used to do it for like a hundred jump ropes a day. I did that for a while. Um, but it's just a good way to get your heart rate up. It's easy. It's simple. This one is from RPM. It's just like, it's just a real thin rope and it does have my name on it. That's only if you're like going to the gym, you don't want to get your rope confused with others. But yeah, RPM is a good one. Also, um, Elite R SRS. Yes, Elite, Elite SRS, SRS is a great one. Um, I mean, you can grab a rope anywhere, Walmart, whatever, like don't make it difficult. But it's just a great way to get your heart rate up and it's just simple. So that was that's the main thing. Like how can you just alleviate another step, just make it really basic and easy. I mean, go for a walk if that's easier for you, but 
Um, and then let's see what else do I have? Oh yeah, I was thinking about heart health and how like one of the major things nowadays um, is stress and how mm -hmm. that's a major cause of heart issues, heart attacks. Yeah, it's just such a big deal in our society. And so and like, what do we do for that? De-stress. So one way, one fun way we de-stressed last weekend for my birthday was we got reflexology done. Mm -hmm. So we've done that a handful of times, um, but it, it is so relaxing. I mean, it just like puts me to sleep. There's just something about someone like just massaging your feet, just getting those pressure points. Feels so good. And that's like, how in the world did 30 minutes just go by in like two seconds? Yeah. I mean, you Why gotta, you gotta go at least an hour. <laughs> yeah. But that's just a great option to, mm -hmm. to de-stress. Um, but yeah, read a book if you want to, if that's de-stressing to you, have mm -hmm. a cup of tea. Once again, go on a walk. If you want to listen to a podcast or read your Bible, whatever it is, mm -hmm. like take some magnesium, find ways to just truly de-stress because mm -hmm. that is such a major thing. All of us are under some kind of stress, whether good or bad. It's just like so easy in our society to get bogged down by that. So find ways to de-stress, try some reflexology and treat yourself. Yeah. Did you have anything else? Um, I think that's it. I feel like that's a, a good place to stop. Yeah. So we have to go anyways to get yeah. to Anise's game. So. Yeah. Our, Our hearts are starting to pump in excitement. So <laughs> <laughs> anyways, we hope that you had an amazing day. Oh, we forgot to mention, was it yesterday that was random acts of kindness day? Oh uh, yes. I don't know if any of you participated. I we were like, it was uh, yesterday. We were saying do before. something good, and like, uh, did we miss random acts of kindness day? Yeah. You know, and every day is like a natural something. Is, but is, yeah, that was kind of a good one. Yeah, felt appropriate. Yeah. Anyways, we hope you have a great day. Do something good. Feel good. De-stress. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.